The idea for the Ark Healthy Living Centre came from uh, research that had been conducted in the area. There was an identification of a range of, of uh, health inequalities and, and social issues. We recognise that health is not just the absence of disease, it's much broader than that. Um, it's very family orientated, um, it's very holistic in its nature uh, and really what we um, I suppose sought to do at that time was help people help themselves. Well Sally's Wood was a, we were the sixth most deprived state in Northern Ireland which shocked me when I found that out. It was a place where we had a lot of antisocial, we had a lot of house drinkers, we had just, it was just, we were called the Bronx at one time, it was that bad. Uh, houses were bad shape, bad need of being done up, there was no fencing, there was no individual gardens. It was just an eyesore, people here were even ashamed to say that they come from this estate. This site behind me was just derelict houses that people had left, the fume had been burned, they were just all fenced off, nobody was living in them because it was just a row of derelict houses that we were mad to get done up or get something done with. The support from the Big Lottery Fund has helped us to achieve what we have here behind us of getting this fantastic building that's a healthy living centre for everybody within this, not just Sally's Wood, but within the community. What the ARC means for me is when I was rebellious at 13, running around doing crazy things I shouldn't have done, looking back now, I think I still would have been a crazy teenager um, if it wasn't for the support I got there. I got pregnant with my first daughter, Shana. There was loads of support down in the ARC because we got to do several different programmes uh, while I was pregnant on the antenatal courses. I think the ARC um, and the childcare facilities mean that people um, can go out and work and there is affordable childcare with nice people to look after children and you know anything that you need support on from the biggest of things to the smallest of things, the ARC's there and no matter what it is just give them a call and someone will be able to help you out with whatever you're dealing with but people can continue in our services. We have the after schools provision and we have the EDGE programme that deals with primary school children. During the summer here, we run uh, eight week diversionary activity programmes for children from the age of five uh, right through to 18. The, the need for the SOLACE project was identified through research in the area locally. Um, people had um, very considerable concerns about alcohol dependency in the area. We, we began to work with people through uh, art, um, music, people had uh, had a meal with us and there would be a range of complementary therapies as well but the, I suppose the consistent message was um, respectful uh, befriending, uh, working with people, recognising that, um, that uh, in many cases that they had very difficult life circumstances. I'm, I'm not completely dry, I'm a recovering alcoholic but I'm not totally dry and I still get the, the urges and the, and the cravings and when I do I just come into service and I chat to everybody else and the cravings go away because everybody's in the one boat and they know what I'm talking about and that's how I got involved with the Solace Project. Well, in, in my opinion, you're talking about lives. The big lottery fund is funding places like Solace. If they weren't there to support small groups to get there, there'd be a lot of lives at risk. The big lottery fund is actually saving lives. For me personally, it's been a wonderful journey. I have really enjoyed every single day that I've been part of this project, and I hope that that, that will, will continue. Um, I'm proud to be part of uh, a project like this. Me and my family wouldn't move anywhere else. We love it here. It's it's our home. They don't want us ever to move. Mum, we don't ever move from here. We love it. They are so happy in here because of what has happened with this funding.